calling the meeting to order at 545. Okay. This is a special meeting, so and yeah. the minutes should reflect that. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to appoint Pat as a regular member for the purposes of the meeting. Yeah. And the first um, piece of business is the public hearing for 494 Route 169 for sign. Um, and I do want to make a, cor uh, a correction. The agenda said 495 Route 169, and the uh, it should read 494. And I will send um, an updated and agenda and corrected agenda to the uh, town clerk okay. so that that reads correctly. Um, so, Eric, the way this works is now that we've opened the public hearing, um, you tell us what you're going to do. I think everybody's had a chance to. Did everybody see the sign that yes. I sent out? Okay. Gail, who's on the call? You, me, and Pat? Oh, um, let's see. Stan Stan's is here. here. Yep. Yeah. Pat and you and yeah. I are we're the four members. And then we have a member of the public, Jessica Weaver Bowes, B O O S E. B O. It's Boos. Boos. B O O S E. Yes. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the pronunciation correctly. Co correction. A, tr a kind of a tricky name to could be sensitive okay. in some quarters. Right. So th thanks for the correction. Um, all right. So. Uh, you'll explain your project fairly straightforward, Eric. We'll, members of the commission will ask you questions. You'll have a chance to respond. Um, we will um, ask then if there's any public comment and then there'll be response to that. And you'll be able to give any final statements. We can ask any final questions. Then we'll close, once we're done, we'll close the public hearing. We deliberate and render our deliberation. Okay. So. Public hearing has been opened, so go ahead and uh, explain your your project, if All you right. would, Eric. I pretty much submitted, um, I think, everything you guys could look at ahead of time. Um, the proposal with a, yep, with a sign actually on a photo of the building. So um, get that to come in. Graphics Unlimited was able to kind of render it so you could visualize it. Um, it's supposed to be 96 inches long by 22 inches tall. Um, it's simply going to say bakery barn to mimic the building next to it that says apple barn. We have a lot of customers that come in, um, and ask we, why we got rid of the bakery and we then have to explain it's the really nice building next door now. <laughs> um, and it happens daily that they're asking about it. The new windows in that building tend to make the lights look off on the inside. Oh, okay. It is kind of it is kind of affecting um, the ability to see in, which I like and don't like, but whatever. Um, yep. So it's ninety six inches by twenty two inches on ACM. Um, so it's a plastic with an aluminum facing, I believe, the way I gather it. Um, and then it's going to have a digital uh, print on top of that, which would then be fastened to the top of the entranceway, squared over the doorways, um, just like in the photo. Um, not illuminated. It's going to be put up there. We're not putting any additional lighting on it to illuminate it or anything like that. It's simply just a to replace the piece of paper that's in the window that says bakery barn. How does the size compare to the apple barn sign? Much smaller. Smaller? Okay. Yeah. It's if I'd had to guess, it's probably half the size. Yep. And are there any additional questions? Yeah, I just had a question again about the material. So it's on plastic, but it's it's got an aluminum. Uh, it's called it's called covering. ACM. 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 It's like a. I always call it polycarbonate. It's it's hollowed two. It's two walls with 
partitions. It mimics cardboard. Okay. But it's plastic with aluminum facing. So yep. it's more okay. rigid than plastic. So the wind right. doesn't fold it and make it look chintzy, I guess. Yeah. It's actually the same material that's on our sign on the roadside, but you could never tell. Okay. Any additional questions, members? No. Just a moment, sir, we'll call on you um, as a member of the public in just a moment since we're in a public hearing. Okay, that's pretty straightforward to me. Yeah, no? I, I agree, I agree. I think it's straightforward. Pat, anything you have as a question? You're muted. All right, Sorry. Yeah. that's okay. Any questions you have for Eric, Pat? Nope. Okay. Um, and also, the let's see, um, Earl, I'm just gonna note that um, a person by named M-A-N-U, first name, and Chopra, C-H-O-P-R-A is their last name, has Could just- you give me the first name one more time? Oh, I see it, Manu Chopra? Yes, has just joined the meeting. Okay. As a member of the public or? As a member of the public. Yep. All right. Um, and uh, so since we've got another member of the public, I just want to remind everybody that this is being recorded. Um, and um, now it's the portion where if there are public comment or questions, then it's the, this is an opportunity on this project only. This is yeah. the opportunity to, um, ex to ask them or make a statement. Okay. Mr. Chopra, did you have a question or a comment concerning this project? Go ahead. Oh, I don't I hear him. I don't hear you. So let me see if there's a reason you're muted. From this end, there's nothing muting you, so you may have to do uh, enable your audio on your end. Yeah. Nothing. Does he hear you, Gail? That's what I'm just typing. Um, could you try, let's see. All right, can you try speaking again to see if we can hear you? Evidently not, it's not coming through. You may have to type your question and I'll read it out, read it out. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I don't see a question. No, um, let's, oh, how do you send windows on project? Um, I'm wondering if he knows he's in this meeting. 
right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, the what we're looking for, right? This is a Woodstock Historic District Commission meeting. Are you a resident of the dis of the historic district? You could nod yes or shake your head no. Yes. Um, all right. Do you have a direct question about the um, public hearing for the sign at Woodstock Orchards? Yes. All right. How do you send windows on the project? Um, I don't understand the question that is, how do you send windows on the project? Are you able to explain a little further? Maybe maybe he could type what his concern that's, is with the project. That's what I'm I've asked. Okay. Ask him his address. Yeah, what's his address and well, what's his concern with the project? Let's just get one thing at a time. Yeah. I'll use it tools. Uh, the, um, so this is a this is a West Westfield Court, Alexandria, Virginia. Um, so oh. this is a, a meeting about a, a, pro a project in Woodstock, Connecticut. And so, and this particular segment of the meeting is just about this project. So um, I don't think your question relates to the project, but we will um, consider your question when we get to the public comment section after the public hearing. So at this point, um, I'm going to, yeah. Eric, do you have anything else to offer about your project? No, I, like I said, it's a pretty simple, yeah. I really don't have much to do. It's more graphics unlimited and I zip four screws in and we're all done. Them. Good. All right. Um, I'll look for a motion to close the public hearing. I'll move. All right. That was Stan. Do I have I'll a second? second? I'll second. All seconding. All right. All, Pat, you'll need to unmute yourself for this. All in favor? All right. All right. All right, now, um, all right, commission members, is there any discussion? Uh, I have no additional comments. No. All right, then look for a motion to approve the um, application as presented. I'll I make a motion. Hey, Patrick, heard from. All right, all right Earl, you're, Earl, you're seconding? I'll second it, yeah. Good, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed, abstaining, motion carried. Eric, you are good to go. Awesome, thank you. I, I will um, get the copy of it to you um, and also get it down to the town hall and you check to make sure you're good to go with the Woodstock sign ordinance. Yep, I already got all my paperwork from them. I was waiting on yours and now I just got to contact uh, graphics to have them Go ahead and start making it outstanding well okay. may, your, may it may it help you help your business improve although i don't want to hear that you've run out of donuts so <laughs> <laughs> so thanks a lot eric <laughs> thank yeah, you good night good night eric all right next up on our agenda review of minutes and we have two sets of minutes to approve and one is the july 27th minutes okay. and if everybody's had a chance to review them then i'll take a motion to approve those minutes i saw move okay. is that pat or stan i think that was stan that was and pat seconded okay is there any discussion no all in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed abstaining 
All right. And now the second minutes are the August 15th special meeting. That was the public hearing for um, John Honig's house for the fence. All right. And if everybody's had a chance to review them, I'll take a motion to approve those. I'll approve that. I saw a move. Okay. Pass. Can you second? Second. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Negative. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Those are approved. Thanks, as always, Earl, for putting those together. Yep. Will do. Yep. Um, correspondence. Let's see. I sent. Uh, I've been back and forth a little bit with the um, circuit riders, just kind of, uh, working out, um, let's see, working out all of our, our authorizations and ordinances with a variety of questions and we're still in conversation. They will be probably scheduling a, a time to either attend maybe our September Zoom meeting with us at the end of the month or do a special meeting to talk with us. Um, I also sent, um, had some correspondence with the building official regarding enforcement. Um, and then a, um, I sent you all the email I got from um, Bill oh Rowinski, I think it's William Rowinski. Um, um, from the evangelical church, and he sent us a um, an email with a video that concerned the. Um, let me make sure I get his name correct. But regarding the tractor trailer truck deliveries that are taking place at um, Rusty Relic, wanting to make to know have it's William Rowinski wanting to have us aware of some traffic issues that were being caused by the tractor, some of the tractor trailer deliveries. Um, and- Who brought that to our attention? Bill, William Rowinski, who is um, from the Evangelical Church. Okay. And he, um, he videotaped a tractor trailer a while ago um, and it and sent that on also to planning and zoning um, where he, um, and it showed the tractor trailer having difficulty backing in, I guess, turning around and backing into Rusty Relic off Child Hill Road and then holding up traffic for a decent amount of time. So he just wanted us to be aware of that and did you send us that video yeah i didn't see that I, <laughs> didn't, double check. I didn't get it it just went out today oh okay uh, and um yes and he wanted to us to he said um the disruption has a significant impact in his opinion on traffic safety um there's no more space available at the church because of student parking. And so he wanted us to be apprised of it and wondering if there's any, anything that can be done to allow the ease, allow trucks greater ease into the property. And I responded that we would um, at the appropriate time take that in. We could discuss that and take that into consideration. What'd they give us? That's really not a, that's more of a, a town thing of how they access the property than our thing. Well, it is Except our there's thing. there's any visual it is, visual change. It is, it is our thing in, in terms of way, the, the, um, the original proposal of, for the project that and we worked with the architect, the engineer, and the property owner um, on the, the width, the 
the dimensions of the driveway, as well as the, the turn off the road and the type of, of opening, you know, we enlarged it some to be able to more to better accommodate um, trailers. And, uh, and we worked uh, with the property owner and the engineer on, on where were the best access points. Um, I feel, I'm pretty sure mm. the, proper, the property owner made the decision that he did not want the a through a drive through, so that um, trucks would enter on Child Hill Road and could exit on 169 or come in off 169 and then enter onto Child Hill. He didn't want to do that and have trucks driving by the house, um, so that was the decision that he made. Um, and the property it does not lend itself to a lot of other um, access points. So it's if um, it becomes a safety in issue, then it's something that we will have to think about as well as planning and zoning will have to address it. Right, so. like what I was saying is that that's a t town thing unless there is a, a change to it. Correct. The, unless there's a change to the opening or something. But Correct. as far as how traffic's moving there, um, I did receive word at one point from the town that I don't know if someone had reached out to the town about the tractor trailer traffic, but um, uh, I did hear about um, that from the town as well. Yeah, it was, um, there was, uh, there was discussion of it at a planning when the Rusty Relics new application went before planning and zoning. So, okay. so I'm just making yeah. you aware and I've yeah. sent you all the video and his letter so that you're up to speed with it. But there has been nothing come before us, no applications for any modifications at this time. So it's merely an informational, that information okay. is heading to you. Thank you. So you're, and in terms of the minutes, it really just needs to be just a com communication from Mr. Yeah, Rowan. Correspondence, right. Yeah. yeah, that's it. All right. Um, next issue up, next thing on the agenda is public comment. And it does appear that our member of the public has gone. So I don't okay. think there's, that would be no, no project consultations. Old business, we still have outstanding the non-compliance issues. Um, those, I most of those will slowly resolve. Um, and the circuit rider is engaged with helping us to on the rusty relic issue. Yep. Okay. Um, it, it is in our ordinance, and I believe I sent you all that section from our ordinance that, you did. Yep. that tells that the enforcement office that, that defines exactly what authority we have and it also says that the building official is our enforcement officer. Yep. There's, is there any further discussion on non-compliance issues? No, I haven't seen any progress on covering, you know, blocking that swimming pool last time I went by. It, eventually, it, it, it's going to take, it. it's going to take time. Um, all right, new commission members, we're down to the, just the four of us at the moment. So just keep thinking about options. Um, and who we might hey, Gail, approach. Can I, Gail, can I chime in on the uh, uh, compliance issue? Just sure. to give folks an update that I already gave you. So I actually had a, uh, uh, a fairly good conversation with the owner of Rusty Relic. Um, he vented some of his concerns. I actually can understand quite a few of them um, and can sympathize. Uh, I communicated this to Gail. Um, some of which being the possibility that some of the uh, problems I have a feeling were of our relations with him is possibly from members of the public sending him emails or correspondence and 
there may be some uh, thought that they are commission members who represent the commission. Um, I'm trying to follow up on that one. Um, also, there were some concerns, and I was also talking to Gail about this as well. Um, as a commission, uh, it, the decision was made to, to not uh, view any new applications until the original ones were um, uh, were completed. And I had a conversation with Gail that I don't that that was decided as a commission, but that is not actually in our books anywhere. And that as a commission, we made the decision to do that just for this case. It's my opinion that we can't do that just for this case because we can't treat one person differently than we would treat anyone else. So without it being in our regs, that we would actually have to uh, consider new applications, even though other ones have not been completed. Some of the uh, applications I'm talking about are like rain garden stuff, everything like that. He still has what he told me is every intention to still do those. He just hasn't gotten to them yet. So, and other things come up that are more pressing at the moment that he wants to take care of. And that's why, you know, applications are going in, we're approving them, uh, you know, for our ease, we'd like to see them done in order, but there is nothing that says that that has to happen. Right. A little more involved in that. Um planting some bushes in front of the handicap ramp would be a pretty simple thing. Having gone ahead with that porch and taken off all the balusters and everything. I understand that. And that is still an issue that needs to be taken care of. I'm speaking solely to the fact of we can't say, no, we're not looking at your stuff because you haven't done this stuff yet. If that's not what a regulation do. in writing on the books, we can't hold somebody to that what we said was that at this point because of this of the non-compliance issues we need to have those those issues addressed which means that he and and there is no reason why and this would apply to anybody so anybody coming before us for a new application submits the application and in the course of our discussion with them, then we're going to ask what is holding up your um, completion. If, if something isn't completed, then you, what's holding up the completion and they get, provide us with an explanation. If they are in total non-compliance, you know, then the question is, why did you do something that was in direct um, opposition to what was approved? Why did you take action that was not approved? And we would entertain their explanation. So he is perfectly, so Rusty Relic as an example, 599 Route 169 can submit a new application. And we're going to ask them about the issues that are outstanding. And, and right, but you cannot, and I, I agree with all those things that need to come current and the concerns we have with other things, but we can't say that we're not going to view new applications because other things haven't gone correctly. We Be can't, and solely, solely for the fact that it's not on the books. I agree these things need to be taken care of, but we can't come up with a rule that's not on the books to, to govern the situation. That is my thoughts on it. That, that's, that's, that's good to have your thoughts on it. The commission has the right to make, de it's make decisions. That's part of our authority, but- You can make decisions, but you can't, I don't think it's right for, we cannot come up with a rule that's not on the books and gonna say, no, we're not going to, view your new applications until this is done we didn't say we're not under, un, it's understand the, that i that no. i i under, i know that the other things need to come current and be corrected and everything but this is like one thing that from what i do on a daily basis unless it's in black and white saying that rule that you cannot 
put forward another application until the previous has come current and is corrected, then we you can't hold somebody to it. Listen, we can we can review a new application, but whether we approve it or not would be another matter. So he can apply. Look at a new thing. He can apply. He also there is no there is no as far as I am he has never conveyed to you or has he given you any explanation for why he went ahead and ripped out all the porch balusters and built rebuilt the porch. No, nope, we did we didn't get that far into the discussion about the porch. And, nope. and like I given, said, all these things he, need to be right. uh, corrected, and but and uh, has he given has he given you any explanation for why it is so why he hasn't been able to just submit another application and get it all taken care of? For getting the th things that he already had approved applications for taken care of? No, why the things that he were denied that he went ahead and did, even no, though they were these denied. these are these are all things that we were working on. And like what my long conversation with you. There's all things I'm trying to talk to him about and uh, hopefully get resolved so we can, you know, start anew and everything. That would be, be good. Good it's to us and good to him. But yep. uh, like I said, these are all things that need to be done. This is one thing that I don't think that we can say no to an application or not view an application because of the status of a previous one for the mere fact that it's not on our regs and we can't make up a regulation or a rule as we go okay val you you have stated your case it should be noted that this is not for for 599 route 169 it is not merely a case of they haven't gotten to it yet it is for at least two items they went ahead and did major work on a property within the historic district when their proposal was denied. No, uh, understood, completely I'm understood. And I agree with that. What I'm saying is, is that as a, as a Patrick, uh, point of resolve, we can't do that. We can't do, we can't say, no, we're not accepting this application. No, we're not looking at application as a part of a enforcement action because it's not on the books. Patrick, every day oh, I have Patrick. to look at black and black and white Excuse me, things Patrick. and to be able to relate things to them. Let me let me finish, please. No. And and so that's the the point I'm making is that every day somebody wants to take an action. I have to say, OK, where is it in black and white that says we could take this action? Uh, Patrick, yes, you got your point across very well. And we all understood it and heard it. I am was merely going on the record to clarify something you said, which is that not only that that this is not about the issues that we are we are that are outstanding for Rusty Relic are the fact that they took they did work that was not approved. That's all I'm saying. So Correct. I we heard so what you said has now been three times repeated, and it is its point and that is one of the points that i am working to clarify with the circuit rider is just what our parameters are um that so i'm working on that and i think we're clear we just needed to make clear that it is not for for rusty relic it is not just a matter of they haven't gotten to it yet it is they did work that was denied, period. So we have your statement and I am working to get a clarification based upon what the state enabling statute says that we are able to do. I'm getting a determination and that's one of the reasons circuit rider is going to come in and work with us. So we will get this clarified. And if it was a, a decision that we made erroneously, we will take care of it. Because ultimately what we want to do is work in partnership with every single resident 
in the district to accomplish the projects they need and also protect the district. Our goal is to work as partners in preserving the district. So we thank you for your, your input on that. And I'm very glad that you were able to initiate a good conversation with, um, with Jason. That's a good step forward. And I hope that it will lead us to um, lead us to resolution of this um, because they're a, a key piece, a key place within the district um, and their business looks like it is successful and growing. And, um, and so I, we need to be good working. We need to establish a good working relationship. So that's a good a good initial step to make, and and I I think we're all, we can all we're all appreciative of the effort that you put, um, and the diplomacy you used to to start that relationship. So thank you. Yep. Okay. Okay. Any additional comments? Not me. Uh, no. Nope. All right. Um, so new commission members, please. You know, think about who might come into the commission. We need at least one more resident of the district in. Um, okay, uh, the guy with the new fence, he seemed uh, interested in uh, what goes on in the district. I will reach out to him and see if he might be interested. His fence is in, by the way, and it looks really nice. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. Um, connecting with residents is another piece of our agenda. And uh, we've had the suggestion um, from somebody that we might consider uh, reaching out to all other towns and commissions and seeing if they might like to, in the future, hold some kind of get, you know, a public get together. We, you know, get to know your boards and commissions and talk to members, some kind of a of a town services type fair. So that was a suggestion that came in to us. That'd be cool. It might make it easier to reach people than just, um, just trying to do something on our own. Okay. Is there any other, is there any other old business? Not that I know of. Is there any new business? Not me. No. Nope. All right then. Well, with that, then um, I will take a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll move. To adjourn. I'll second. I'll second. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, motion carried. We are adjourned. Thank you all. Great. Um, our, our next meeting should be um, end of September. Okay. All right, everybody, have a good I'll be evening. Here. Good. Have a great Labor Day, everybody. Oh yeah. yes, good and safe Labor Day, everybody. Yep. Take care. Great. Good night, everybody. Bye now. Bye.